When I was in Turkey, I was attacked by Miss Crime on a timely basis. The first attack was um, the one that um, that the the Miss Crime blocked me on the street. I was with one thousand dollars, and the Miss Crime they came they came in form of police that uh, they were policemen. So when I was trying to bring out my my paper and the other travel documents that I'm holding. So the $1,000 that I'm holding was inside that purse, including my travel documents, was inside that purse. So now, they now took the money from me and then they ran away. So I started crying because I knew that I have lost $1,000 and that was my PTA which I came with to Turkey. So I decided to flee from Turkey to Greece because Turkey is no longer a safe place to me, for me to stay. So when I flee from Turkey, I now came to Greece with a balloon boat. So when I arrived to Greece, I now went to the refugee camp at VI and I saw a crowd of people, the way they are behaving, fighting and other things. Fear now came into me again. I started being afraid again. I started asking myself now, what have I gotten into? Is, it, is, is, is this this thing that I'm, I will come here to face? I mean, is this what I will come here to face? Something that I, I, I ran away from Turkey all because of this mess and I, I came to Greece. That's why facing the same thing. So I now said, okay, that uh, since that I'm a Christian, that I now commit everything unto God's hand. In November 2017, um, there was an organized attack of fascist people to the uh, camp of Suda. Um, the camp is uh, near, uh, was near the castle and the fascists uh, climbed uh, uh, around the walls of the castle and started throwing uh, some kind of uh, handmade bombs and uh, also big stones on the tents. At that point, uh, a lot of people and especially children were in danger because the containers broke and there were a lot of people uh, in danger of getting hurt. So I remember I was there at that night. Uh, we were trying to get all the people out of the camp and we moved them uh, near uh, a tavern that was uh, um, 500 meters away from the camp. During that night, I was beaten by fascists, me and another friend of mine, while we were trying to, to help some children get out of the camp. We were attacked by the fascists and ed ended up in, in the hospital. All the local people didn't want a refugee uh, in the city center. They believed that the refugee created a lot of problems. Uh, we had uh, high rates of criminality. People were stealing. Uh, they uh, broke into houses, uh, stealing money, stealing uh, food, stealing clothes because they had great needs. So all the locals started complaining and demonstrating against uh, Suda camp. So the mayor promised uh, that he will uh, close this camp and move all the people to Vial. And this started happening within the next six or seven months. All the people were moved to Vial or to the mainland. Now, Vial, before becoming a refugee camp, was a recycling factory and it still works as such. So it was a factory and they made a lot of changes there so as to become a a camp for the refugees of Hills. The Al camp uh, can host uh, 1,200 uh, 1, people, but and right now there are 1,500, and more and more people are coming. Um, the conditions of hygiene are not good. Um, there is lack of clothes, uh, lack of hygiene products, 
Uh, and the basic th thing for me is that the asylum procedure is so slow. I mean, there are people who are in HEOS for one year and they're still waiting for the answer from the asylum services. There are big, big problems. And one more thing, the food. Ovial, I think it's very bad. So the people try to cook themselves. Uh, that is where the solidarity teams come to try and improve as much as they can this situation. One year here. At Vial, it was uh, it was so bad for me, and also uh, there no anyone care for us. It's we have a bad life here. Really, it's a, a bad life, and uh, no anyone care really, really, really. And for exactly for us, what's different if we are now 18 or not? We really need uh, to be safe. Really, really, we need help. Really, really, we, we need to go some school to study. Or if, if we want to try to study about something, uh, we should them help us, but um, they tell we cannot. Okay, one day will be fine, one day my life will be nice, one day maybe I will meet some person that really take care of me and they will love me, but it's, that day doesn't come, never. And now I cannot believe one day I will be fine or one day I will be safe for all my life or one day I will have a, a nice life. <laughs> I think it's fine. I think it's like a right thing. Come on. 